bien. So for more of a catchy thing, we're going to look at um, doing something when someone establishes an underhook. Okay, so Graham's going to get his underhook. All right. My priority now is to not allow him to escape out the back door. So this arm goes over the top of his head and I force it down to the ground. At the same time as I do this, this arm is going to hook behind his elbow and I start to lift his elbow as I turn my hips slightly. You can see that this brings the arm up. Okay. As this brings the arm up, this other hand is going to drive underneath his shoulder. All my weight is on his shoulder that's on the ground underneath my hip, and my weight goes onto his head. This hand then slots underneath and I touch my own chest. All right, at this point, I've kind of really got the double wrist lock when I turn my hips again. Now what I need to do is move this ear to that elbow. If I move this ear to that elbow, look what happens. My hand can slide up to his wrist. All right, so I've gone from here. My ear is kind of where my shoulder is. And I take my ear to his elbow. As I do that, my hand slides up to his wrist. I grab the wrist, and I'm going to use my body weight. I'm going to turn my upper body over and slam this to the floor. This gives me my figure four, which you can Kimura, you can double wrist lock, um, however you fancy doing it. And me personally, I like to twist the wrist so it goes under his armpit, and then double wrist locking. 